Hey guys, I am back with another video. This is a three to six month baby must have. I had a couple more people requesting this video than the um, newborn one simply because they were a little bit more in that age range. So I wanted to make sure I got it out right away. Um, so I actually composed a list again. So the first thing on my baby must haves around three to six months is the jumper. So the jumper Oh my god, we love the jumper. It is one of Gilly's, well, it was one of Gilly's favorite things to do um, when he was around the three to six age range. I believe we got it around three months, three and a half months, and he had really good head control, um, so we were able to kind of place him on there. I want to say in the beginning, we, we only allowed him to do a certain amount of time, and then we also uh, padded the bottom because he wasn't, he wasn't tall enough, um, but as soon as he was able to kind of start grabbing toys and playing with them. It was literally his favorite thing to do. Uh, we tried to limit his use of the jumper to 30 minutes. The one that we have is actually the Finding Nemo and I, I'm, I wanna say the brand is Disney. That one is a little bit pricey. So what I did is I went onto Facebook Marketplace. Uh, finally, someone posted the jumper at 20, 25 bucks and we, I messaged her right away. So we actually went to go pick it up and it was in perfect condition. Everything was clean, everything was um, scrubbed down and jumpers are one thing that I, I would recommend you to get secondhand because they are very pricey. My baby is about eight, eight and a half months and he is, since he is now crawling, since he is now wanting to stand and kind of wanting to cruise, um, either with his walker or with whatever will slide on our tile and carpet he is not really interested in being in the jumper as much as he used to so i would say in the next couple months we're gonna have to go ahead and put that away one of my recommendations for the three to six month stage is now that they are have mastered um, their tummy time now that they are wanting to cruise a little bit more whether that's scooting or whether that is rolling you're gonna want to buy a type of foam mat the one that I bought like I said I bought it at one of those really random merchandise stores you're just able to kind of put it on the floor and the baby wherever let's just say the baby kind of uh, falls to the side or whatever it's still very soft enough that the baby won't hurt themselves what I used to really like doing with Gilly is that I would uh, place him on the floor with all of his favorite toys kind of spread out he would start scooting to the side to, to play with his toys and he would get really entertained on the foam mat so definitely buy those especially if you live in a house that has kind of like floors or tiles so Gilbert and I decided to buy him a stationary walker and it has literally been the best decision of our lives um, it is a little activity center in the middle and it has a hooked seat that goes 360 around the activity center table and the baby's kind of able to um, still do those little pushes with his legs that normal walkers do but he's stationed so wherever we put him which is typically in the middle of the living room he doesn't go anywhere he's not able to reach anything and he's still kind of able to entertain himself as time went by like I said he was able to uh, crawl towards the table and just stand on the table and play with the toys instead of being hooked on the seat but definitely recommend the one that we have it is the bright stars three in one around we go another thing that Gilly got from his grandma for Christmas was the bumbo and the reason why I have this on my baby must haves is because we actually used this quite a bit when he was in that stage where he was able to start sitting. And the reason why was because we were wanting him to get ready for that sitting stage. We would just put this either on the couch or on the floor, a, a flat surface, and we would just kind of sit him on this and we were able to give him toys to play with and just kind of um, engage with him while he was sitting down and practicing sitting. So this one was really, was really nice. If I would have known how much he was gonna like his sit me up um, I probably would have asked for the bumble with the food tray just because he loves being on his sit me up and eating snacks and unfortunately for the bumbo this is not safe to um, uh, he's not able to eat stuff on this just in case you're thinking about getting this probably spend a little bit more on the one that has a food tray okay so the three to six age range is when babies are starting to discover their hands um, they're starting to kind of look more at their fingers kind of um, opening opening and closing the fist a little bit more so they're able to grab things and so it's very very interesting to see because in the beginning you just see like this little baby that like barely even moves from side to side and then all of a sudden you're seeing this baby that's 
wanting to play with toys and is interested in what is around him or her. As soon as baby Gilly started kind of wanting to look at things a little bit more and wanting to grab things a little bit more, I decided to start buying um, toys that would allow him to grip a little bit better. So I want to say that those kind of toys really helped him with his motor skills and kind of allowed him to be a little bit more um, curious as to how toys worked and why they made these little rattling noises. The selection of toys that I have have also been a lot of other mommy favorites that I am friends with. So it's either friends or people that I'm in mommy groups with. I don't know them all by name so I'm gonna go ahead like I said just post all the information down below. One of his favorite favorite toys and I believe it was like one of his very first ones that he's actually wanted to grab and hold and play with called the Manhattan toy. I was just telling my husband that that was like one of his favorite toys and I'm so sad that he um, had a very short while with it he actually it's a funny story we went to go take our Christmas pictures with Santa and there was this couple in front of us that also had a baby and they also had another baby who um, was kind of interested in Gilly's toy and so the little kid wanted to grab the toy and the parents kept on telling him like, no, that's not your toy, that's not your toy. And I don't know what happened. Um, it was kind of quick. I don't I don't know if anybody has ever taken pictures with Santa, but um, th this was my first time and they were very, very quick about it because there was a very long line behind us. And so, you know, we're trying to grab the backpack, trying to grab the baby that just all of a sudden started crying. So we're in line to see the photos get developed and I see the toy on the couple's stroller that was in front of us. I just assumed since they had a baby, you know, around one month, one month and a half, um, I just assumed that it was their toy and I didn't say anything. So got into the car, we got home, we're taking everything out and I noticed that the Manhattan toy is nowhere to be found and we never saw it since. So kind of sad because the parents knew, they knew that that was not their toy and they still kept it but so one of the first toys and this was actually Gilly's uh, Christmas present from mommy and daddy and it's the Elmo three pack toy set pretty much they're all kind of teething toys he would put everything in his mouth and they're all safe to do so he loved the tags on this he loved pulling on this little um, I believe it's like a, a lovely and it's just like the little blanket with the Elmo on top. Silicone teething toys. And then, he, like I said, he would grab this one and kind of shake it around. And he really loved the noise when it came to this. So this set was awesome and it was very inexpensive as well. It was also around Christmas time that Gilly turned three months. He was around the three to four month um, stage. He got a lot of toys from his aunts and uncles. One of the toys that he really fell in love with is one of the toys that my sister gave him. And this is the piano. He has loved this piano. Um, since he got it. It was one of his favorite toys. What I really like about this is that it's actually English, Spanish, and French and does little sounds. Another toy that he really really enjoyed is the O-Ball. This is really really popular among that age group just because like I said it has those little holes that he's able to put his um, hands through and then it also has little balls that he's kind of able to uh, rattle. I would suggest making sure that it's the correct O-Ball because I believe there was a one specific O-Ball that was recalled. He also really, really liked um, this little set. He likes being able to grab these. I have seen that he's been a little bit more curious taking them out and then also putting them back in. He hasn't been able to master it yet. We also have another one. Um, which he also loves and I'll post a picture of it as well. And then my husband, I'm not going to lie, there are toys that I play with him versus the toys that my husband plays with, like those rings. He loves throwing them at Gilly and Gilly just has so much fun. He laughs so much. And then with these, he says that he really likes the noise. Um, ever since he had this um, quarantine that we've had, he has playtime with him in the morning while m mommy gets, you know, the rest that she needs because she was up with him all night. And he says that he's a really big fan of these little cups. I ordered this off Amazon because Gilly was really, really interested in dad's uh, Xbox remote. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy him a little remote. It's super cute. It was on sale. And so he really, really likes this one. Um, it lights up. Well, during the three to six month, he really likes this one. It lights up. It, it makes noises. So he really liked this one as well. And then another favorite was one that 
I want to say his grandma got him, got him this one, um, but he loves watching this go around and around. It has a little suction thing at the bottom, so if you are on a surface where you're able to um, suction it on, then that's great. Other than that, it does stay pretty upright, and then it just kind of moves around, and he loves being able to, like, once his... Um, motor skills were a lot better he loves being able to just do this like you'll just catch him if this is laying down or something you'll just catch him like with his finger kind of just going like this at the three to six month age range you'll also start seeing babies um kind of want things in their mouth um once they get a little bit better i want to say this is more towards the five to six month age range you'll start to see babies kind of want to grab things a little bit more put things in their mouth simply because it's the exciting stage of teething. So a lot of babies tend to start teething very, very early. Um, mine decided to start teething roughly around the five to six, and then he stopped out of nowhere. And then around six and a half months to seven months, I there was just six teeth that popped out out of nowhere. So um, there was a, a stage where he was about four and a half months, five months, where he was teething and we did have to start buying things that helped to soothe that pain because he wanted everything in his mouth. He was being extremely fussy. Um, and the only things that would calm him down are the things that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So for the section of teething, I do actually have quite a bit of stuff for the teething phase. One of the first things that Gilly started using and it was very, very early and I, it was more for him to start getting introduced to purees and kind of different flavors um, was this feeder so pretty much it's this little thing that you open up on the bottom and you're able to kind of stuff whatever it is that you want in here some people use like frozen fruits frozen vegetables what I would do is I would make my own pu purees I would go ahead and uh, mold them by freezing them and then I would go ahead and take them out cut them up and put them in here and he would you would give this to him and he'd be good for about 30 minutes people um, did recommend the ones that are actually the silicone ones or the ones that are easier to wash. So thinking back now, I probably would have got the other ones, but this was actually a baby shower gift. There was a stage where Gilly was teething very, very bad and he was not having it. Like he would just start crying out of nowhere. He was just very fussy. You could tell I was teething because um, he was pulling at his ear. There was a lot more saliva. Uh, there was like kind of red spots right here. So you know that there was just like constant saliva coming out. He was putting everything and anything in his mouth. So you knew it was teething. So what I did is um, this could be done with pretty much anything. You could go ahead and puree stuff and you could put purees in here to make them fr uh, frozen. They're little popsicle molds. And But what I, do, I would do, which he really loved, is that I would pump out my breast milk and I would put them in the molds and he was just able to kind of um, soothe his gums with the popsicles and he loved these he would just you would give them to him and he would just be non-stop um, eating these for about a good 30 minutes um, but one of the teething toys that he really liked are this infant infantino they're the ones that have like the little water that you're able to put in the refrigerator I would say that when you take them out kind of wait for them to unfreeze a little bit just because they're very very hard for the gums but other than that he loved these they soothed him very very good he also really liked these keys we use these keys both ways so I've put them in the in the freezer and I've also just kind of kept them in his um, diaper backpack and he loved them either way and then for Christmas um, he also got these little teethers uh, he was given these by his grandma and his Nina and he loves them you would just use these like you would with the bottle you just make sure you wash them and you sanitize them and then for teething I would recommend this baby it's like a baby toothbrush but he loves like every single section of it so he loves a little toothbrush he loves the sides and he also loved the, loves the bottom there's also little bumps right here that he's able to kind of soothe his teeth on he didn't really like it in the beginning when he was teething but as time went on he fell in love with this and then you literally could put this in this pack and play with him and he will just chew on it the whole entire time another thing that he really really liked and it's really really inexpensive were these little rings and for some reason he loved just grabbing them being able to grab them putting them in his mouth these are the type of rings that you use to connect toys so what we would do is just kind of keep them all together what i've liked to do recently and i've done like little projects with him is you can put this um, up with tape and he's able to kind of grab it and use and, and practice his motor skills a lot with these something else that he really liked and of course like i said this was 
approved by his pediatricians but when he started teething around five to six months what he really really fell in love with are these teething wafers and so the brands that i use are the organics happy baby and these are amazing they last you a pretty good time now that he's a really big chewer he eats them up super super fast but we also recently just started using baby munchables and it's also the organic ones but these are it and i bought both of these at target another item that i really really like and this also helped with his allergens was the bomba this was actually recommended from his pediatrician i had no idea what she was talking about so i did have to do some digging i actually found out that they sell these at target it's real they're really hard to find but if you find them make sure you grab a few because <laughs> they're really really hard to find we we went to at least four targets and we ended up finding it only at one so these are the baby mambas they're peanut butter puffs and these are obviously once they're once they're comfortable with having foods in their mouth and they're able to soften these up in their mouth and eat them okay so when baby gilly got sick um in december some of the things that i noticed that we really really needed was a good nasal spray and the reason why I say, to say a good nasal spray is because when I was using the other nasal sprays that I had, it was really hard to determine if I was doing it correctly. I did try out two, three, two, three nasal sprays, and one of my favorite ones was the Zarbi's Soothing Saline Nasal Spray. And the reason I like this one is because it has a little, um, you push this little thing right here, and the it comes out exactly the same every single time so i know that every time i was doing this i was doing it correctly and i was giving him the right amount and then another thing that i really like um that I, i'm not going to recommend this specific one there are some that are a little bit more expensive that you're able to that give you a lot more accurate results but just in general i would recommend getting uh, a non-contact thermometer and the reason I say this is because when you have little babies who are either sick or you're kind of just checking the temperature because you just got vaccines or the baby's teething or whatever and you want to make sure that they're not running a fever. So what I like to do is I like to check his temperature with this first. And if I do see that the temperature is running a little bit high or kind of in the warning stage, then that's when I go in with another thermometer that's a, uh, that's a little bit more accurate. But definitely recommend this for when the baby's sleeping and you don't want to wake the baby up, especially when they're sick and they're resting. You just want to make sure that they are resting and you don't do not wake up a sleeping baby. So we noticed when he was started sleeping on the pack and play, he was starting to get a little bit of kind of rug burns on the side of his face. And that's um, the pediatrician said that was perfectly fine and perfectly normal. So what she recommended is that we use some type of moisturizing cream that will ha help that dry skin that he was developing on the side of his face. And he, she recommended this Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy Cream. Another thing that I really, really liked that I recommend um, is this Medela Quick Clean Breast Pump and Accessory Sanitizer. And the reason I really, really like this now, obviously I used to use it when I would do uh, pumping, but the reason I mention this now is because I, I was looking at the things that it kills. One of the things that it disinfects disinfects is uh, the strand of the human coronavirus which is listed on like Lysol and bleach and stuff like that so it does disinfect a whole lot of things so you're able to use this on pacifiers bottles obviously your breast pump accessories and um, your toys so I use this for literally everything now because obviously Gilly has a lot more toys now and any toys that we are buying him I am obviously sanitizing with wipes and stuff and then I also put this on top the last thing that I'm going to recommend is something that we got a little bit towards the end, which was about five, five and a half months, and that is the summer infant bath seat. Gilly is obsessed with it. Ever since I put him down, he loves playing with the water. He loves splashing the water, and you could just tell that he um, seems a little bit more independent that way. He's able to grab his toys. He's able to splash the water, play with the bubbles. So definitely recommend that one. That bath seat is from about five to ten months. All right, guys. So I am boiling in this room it is so hot but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and like i mentioned in the other video if you have a baby favorites from three to six months or anything that you might recommend my baby is eight months eight and a half months now so if there is anything that you recommend for my baby's upcoming month then definitely recommend it down below and i'll see you guys very soon bye guys